What's up? We're going to go through um, a couple questions here on the segment edition postulate maze because I know that these mazes can look absolutely ridiculous. I'll tell you right now, this worksheet whew, looks crazy, but it's not all that bad. The one thing I will say is you're going to be expected to write a little bit of something down somewhere else. Um, it's, it's really going to help you out. Remember, segment edition postulate just means that you're going to add up two parts to make the whole. Okay, simple as that. Or the whole part minus the right is gonna give you the left. Okay, you're gonna see a little bit of all that. The way that these mazes work is we're gonna start in this square and the answer is gonna lead us in a direction. Whichever direction it leads us in, we're just gonna follow these paths all the way and maybe eventually we'll make it to the end. Okay, so we're gonna start in this box. I'm gonna get you going, do four or five questions, then I'm gonna be done and you're gonna be expected to finish. So the segment addition postulate, for the very start question. Um, it says, if MO is 14, find the value of X. So we know that MO is the whole thing. So remember, segment addition postulate tells us that the whole thing is equal to the sum of the parts, right? I mean, we got M, N, O from 2X minus five. And we just found out that the whole thing, MO is 14. So this whole length here, is 14. If we want to find the value of x, well, I'm going to go ahead and set it up where I'm going to say the left plus the right equals the whole thing. And I'm just going to type that stuff in Desmos and I'm going to be done. So into Desmos, the left plus the right equals the whole thing. I'm going to look where it touches and 8. Now I'm going to cross my fingers that one of the paths leaving this box is going to be eight. Otherwise, I might be in trouble. So here's my eight. I'm going to head this direction. All right. So now I'm going to move over into this box, and I'm just going to solve that question. Okay. So this question here says VX equals 14. It looks like pretty much the same exact question again. So, you know, I'm going to line it up really simple 5x minus 8 and 2 and I found out that the whole thing was 14 this time so the left plus the right equals the whole thing that should be it I go to Desmos type it in 5x minus 8 plus 2 equals 14 and I'm getting Four as the answer. I cross my fingers. I hope that one of the boxes that leaves this grid is a four. I see that we have a nice diagonal here, so I'm going to move this direction. Seems like we're moving in the wrong direction of the end here, but to be honest, you're going to kind of go all the way over. You're not going to do every box. I'll tell you that. You're not going to do every box. Um, all right. Working here with this next one, it says that GI equals 31. That's, you know, the whole length. So again, I see that the left is X plus eight. I see that the right is X plus three. I see that the whole thing is 31. So I'm just going to set it up. X plus eight, that's the left. X plus three, that's the right, is equal to the whole thing. I'm going to go to Desmos. I'm going to type X plus eight plus X plus three equals 31. I'm going to zoom out. I see my answer is at 10, and I'm going to look and cross my fingers that 10 is a possible answer. I see it here. I'm going to head this direction. Okay, let's do two more, then it'll be on you. Um, this one up top here, it says, if J is the midpoint of IK. So we have a little bit of a different question here. Okay, we know that J is the midpoint. So... I, J, K, 29, X plus 16. And you might even see these little slashes, these little hash marks. They tell us that these are the same. J is the middle. If J is the middle, the left and the right, what do you know about them? If J is the middle, the left and the right are the same because it's right in the middle. It's cutting it right in half. So that means that 29 should be equal to x plus 16. Some of us can probably do that in our head. That's, that's pretty easy. Um, 29 should be equal to x plus 16. Desmos tells us 
13. All right, that's the answer. Surely that's going to be on here somewhere. I'm going to move back that direction. Now, one of these things with doing the maze is that if I end up taking this 26 route and go to a box I've already been, I'm going to be in an infinite loop. So you can assume 26, not going to be the answer. Okay, 6, not going to be the answer. All right, we're, we're going to want to focus on this box up here. Okay, now here we go. It says if su equals 20, find x. Again, that's the whole thing. We already talked about how to do this. Um, this last question we'll do. I guess I'll just write it down. Do it real quick. S, T, U, 3x, 2x. We cannot set it up with the midpoint because it did not say midpoint. So we have to think about it. Get the whole thing, which is 20. Then set it up 3x plus 2x equals 20. Some of us can even do that one in our head. Not too bad. 3x plus, two, plus 2x equals 20. Desmos says 4. Again, that one wasn't all that hard. Um, hopefully 4 is not taking us. Yeah, good news. We're not getting trapped in the corner forever. Now, do you think we're going to go back into the corner and get stuck forever? Probably not. So I wouldn't necessarily worry myself about this box too much. Okay? And our options for leaving this box is either to go to a box we've already been, box we've already been, stuck in the corner, box we've already been. It seems almost guaranteed that I'm going to end up in this box over here. All right. That's on you. There's a couple of the answers. I'm moving around in this direction. You are going to be expected to have some writing and not just a random arrow on your page. Because I understand that you could just woo, draw the arrow on the page for somebody else. Okay? Um, hope this video helps. A little bit of a segment edition postulate. Um, remember, you could set them up sometimes where you have the whole is the left minus the right, or things like that. Or sorry, the whole is equal to the left plus the right. But the left might be the whole minus the right. Things like that. You might have to use minus to figure it out. Um, you guys have been doing well with this, so I'm sure you'll be there. Anyways, good luck.